Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is how to pursue moments of wonder with God while walking. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. Take as little as three minutes to see if you could save on motorcycle insurance with Progressive. Come on, you've spent more time than that thinking about helmets with faces on them. I should get a new helmet. Ooh, maybe I'll get one of those ones that looks like a face with painted teeth and eyebrows, you know? Oh, that always looks so cool. People are like, whoa, is that a person with two faces? Oh, no, it's a helmet. And one face. Get a quote in as little as three minutes at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. Wonder Walks Written and read by Whitney Hopler The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Psalm 65, 8, NIV Trees towered above me as I walked through the woods at a local park. A gust of wind blew in, rustling leaves above me. I looked up into the tree canopies and gazed at the leaves dancing in the wind as clouds drifted through the sky beyond them. Mesmerized, I felt as if time stood still while I watched. The stress I'd felt before my walk evaporated in the transcendence of those moments. Instead of stress, I felt connected to parts of nature that were bigger than me the tall trees, and the expansive sky. That gave me a greater perspective, helping me notice the presence of the one who had created it all, God, with me there. All had found me on another wonder walk. Wonder walks are times of intentionally searching for all while walking. I try to take a wonder walk every single day, no matter what the weather is like or how busy I am. The Wonder Walk process is simple. I simply set an intention to find something inspiring while walking, something that helps me notice more of the wonder of God's work around me. As I walk, I go on an adventure of exploration, searching for all with a curious mind and an open heart. I always find something wonderful on these walks that inspires me to draw closer to God. While walking, I usually pray and meditate as well. Psalm 65.8 NIV tells us the whole earth is filled with awe at God's wonders. So we can find something that inspires us with awe anywhere we walk. Walking through nature is especially powerful, since Romans 1.20 NIV declares that nature reveals God's qualities. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. Whenever we pay attention to something that inspires us in nature, we can draw closer to God. But we can discover glimpses of work around us in anywhere we walk. So taking a wonder walk on a busy city street or even indoors can also lead us to awe. The key is intentionally looking for moments of awe while we're walking. Different types of wonder walks include wonder walks that excite us. Feeling excited can shake us out of boredom and make us more attentive, helping us notice the awe around us. I've encountered a diverse variety of situations that excited me on wonder walks around my neighborhood. Those include rabbits chasing each other through a yard, a family screaming with joy while riding electric scooters together, and a satellite sparkling in the night sky. Wonder walks that engage our senses. 
Our physical senses can help us experience spiritual awe. My senses have come alive on Wonder Walks countless times, including hearing innovative music from a garage band practicing, feeling the splash of raindrops on my skin, and smelling soup wafting out a restaurant's windows, then ordering that soup and tasting it. Wonder Walks that bring us peace. When we feel at peace, we can relax and become more aware of the everyday miracles in our surroundings. Wonder walk experiences that have given me a transcendent sense of peace include snow that settled like a soothing blanket on everything in sight, a leaf falling from a tree into a stream, and a field scattered with bright yellow buttercup flowers. Wonder walks that inspire us. Experiencing inspiration can easily lead us to awe. Inspiring experiences I found on Wonder Walks include a group of firefighters rescuing a cat from a tree, grandparents and grandchildren working together to build a car from a kit, and a majestic rainbow arching through the sky after a storm. Wonder Walks that surprise us. When we encounter something surprising, we become more alert, which helps us discover the wonder around us. I've come upon many delightful surprises during Wonder Walks, such as a shooting star, a parade in progress, and unexpected wildlife encounters. By looking for something that sparks awe in our souls during a Wonder Walk, we can move closer to God with every step. Intersecting Faith and Life As you reflect on Wonder Walks, consider these questions. Where do you enjoy walking and why? Where are some new places you would like to visit for a walk? How can you make room in your schedule to take more walks? Reflect on a walk you've taken in which you felt connected to God. What happened during that walk that helped you become more aware of God's presence with you? How can you look for something exciting, engage your senses, pursue peace and inspiration, or expect surprises on your next walk? How can you plan to pray during a Wonder Walk? Which Bible verses would you like to meditate on during a Wonder Walk? Further reading Job 5-9 Micah 6-8 Psalm 66-5 Psalm 119-105 Proverbs 3-5-6 The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Scripture and brain science agree. Meditating on God's Word transforms us and reduces stress in our lives. I'm Jody Nisnik, host of So Much More, Creating Space for God, a scripture meditation podcast. And each week I give you space to hear God's Word, listen to the Spirit, and pray about what's on your heart. And then we have a thoughtful conversation with guests to help us go deeper. Listen and subscribe at lifeaudio.com.